Hi, I'm Holly Holman, General Counsel of BJC and co-host of the Respecting Religion podcast. Have you ever heard someone make this claim? The United States is a Christian nation. Is that true? Well, it depends on what the speaker means by it. Demographically, the United States has been and continues to be a majority Christian nation. More than half of Americans, about 70% according to surveys from the Pew Research Center, continue to identify as Christians. We know American Christians are diverse. The religion includes Baptists, Presbyterians, Methodists, Catholics, Lutherans, non-denominational Christians, and so many other types. And there are differences within each of those traditions. But that's not typically what people are talking about when they say America is a Christian nation. Instead, they are often claiming something about American history and law. From a historical perspective, the United States was founded with a secular government, not a religious government. Those promoting the Christian nation narrative will point to the faith profiles of certain founders and cherry pick quotes from speeches and documents. But the best proof that the founders rejected state-sponsored religion is in the text of the Constitution itself. In the Article VI prohibition against religious tests for public office, and in the First Amendment's dual protections for religious freedom. Today, those promoting the Christian nation narrative argue that God has a special providential role for the country and that our laws should reflect Christian theology or sometimes Judeo-Christian values. This kind of thinking is both bad theology and bad law. It betrays the promise of religious freedom for all and would work to create second-class religions in this country, something that our Constitution prohibits. Our team at BJC is committed to ensuring that people of all faiths and no faith know they are equal as Americans. Our belonging in American society should never depend on how we worship, what we believe, or how we identify religiously. It's up to all of us to defend these foundational ideas. Because the myth of a Christian nation is so prevalent, I think Christians have a special responsibility to defend the rights of all reinforcing pluralism instead of promoting theocratic ideas. That's one reason BJC started the Christians Against Christian Nationalism campaign. We hope you will join us and help us reinforce American ideals. To learn more about this topic, subscribe to the Respecting Religion podcast, follow BJC on social media, and sign up for our newsletter.